Hello everyone! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning all about chimneys and how to avoid using them. In Valheim, there's loads of different sources of smoke. This stuff here. The most common being this basic fireplace. But there's all sorts of other sources of smoke as well, including the bigger fireplaces. Smoke is also created by other items such as the kiln and the furnace. These items have specific points where the smoke comes out of, usually at the top. What's interesting about items that make smoke is that they have to keep making the smoke in order to work. As an example, here we have a fire pit that's just stuck in a cube. This is making smoke, and the smoke fills the cube up, and then it can't put any more smoke in. The fire goes out. Smoke just disappears naturally over time. So when the fire's on, the smoke fills up the chamber, and then eventually the fire goes out. And as the fire's out, the smoke is slowly disappearing naturally. It gets deleted after a certain amount of time. And once enough of that smoke has disappeared, then poof, the fire will come right back on. The same also applies to any other item in the game that makes smoke. If it can't make smoke, it'll stop working. We'll use the kiln as an example. Right now, it's able to make smoke, so it's chugging along. But as soon as we place this wood piece here, this will block the smoke. That chamber will fill up, and then boom, the kiln goes out. As soon as you allow the smoke to flow again, the kiln will turn right back on. There's an additional smoke problem though, and that's if your player stands in it, they'll die. This is particularly a problem early in the game, where that 25 health will disappear real fast. As a result, managing smoke is a skill that all Valheim players will have to dabble in. The typical approach is to just have a chimney that goes to the sky. That way the smoke can just go up and disappear naturally. The problem with just an open chimney though is that it rains sometimes, and that rain is going to put your fire out. The bonfire is fine because it's special, but all other fires, as soon as they're in the rain, they'll just go out. Now, this doesn't apply to items like the kiln. These things can just burn because they're technically covered. And as you can see with this hearth, this should go out in the rain. But because it's covered, it stays lit. And there's enough space for the smoke, so no smoke comes out. So all this time that you've spent making chimneys, you could actually just make a little storage compartment for your smoke. And as long as that storage compartment is big enough, it won't overflow into your house. But so, how do you make these smoke batteries, or these storage compartments? Well, let's take a look at this one. We can get rid of this wall here, and then we'll be able to look inside. As you can see, we have a hearth in the bottom, which is around 4 meters by 3 meters. And essentially, you just need double that space above it. Normally, the hearth makes smoke, and then it keeps going up, and it finds a place, and then leaves and disappears into the sky. But as long as that little storage compartment is big enough, you can actually just close it off entirely and it'll still work perfectly fine. Technically, what's happening right now is smoke is being made, but the chamber never fills all the way because the smoke gets deleted automatically over time. You can do the same thing with regular fireplaces, but they actually need more space because they only take up two square units and this isn't enough space to store all the smoke. And as you can see, all you need to do to fix that is just give extra space to store that smoke. That's all you gotta think about. Instead of making chimneys, you make little smoke storage compartments. Now, to really blow your mind, look at this. We have a building full of campfires, right? But if I go up here, and go on top of all these campfires. Look at that. I'm totally fine. Sure, you can see all the smoke in the floor, but this area is totally clear. But how is that possible? Because there's no smoke up here. There's like eight fires in this house and no smoke in the top floor and no chimney. Essentially what's happening is we've made a ring inside the building. You see how there's this sort of chamber here and it goes all the way around the bottom level this gives the smoke a ring to travel around in before it dissipates. Smoke will always disappear after enough time, so you just need to give it enough places to go into, and then it'll work totally fine. These fires don't go out from getting over smoked, even though there's not even a chimney in this building. 
If you want to support the work that I do and keep me making Valheim videos, consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server to play with your friends. You can see my tutorial all about doing that. Comment below if there's something you'd like me to make a tutorial about. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.